guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. Um, this video is not a video, first of all, this video is not a video where I'm going to tell you how to spend your money, but this is a video for all the people like me who have a habit of buying things and not using them that much. Uh, the backdrop of this entire video is that, that four years ago when I first started earning, I was really excited because I was so happy that I was, you know, getting stable paychecks. I was not freelancing or doing anything anymore. I was getting stable paychecks and everything. I was getting money in my bank. I had my own salary account. So I was really excited about that. And that tend to, that was a very beautiful feeling of being independent. It actually came with the responsibility of saving money. A habit, I don't spend on clothes that much. I usually wear the same clothes like five days a week and then repeat it again. But I started spending my money on things like lipsticks, makeup products, beauty products, skincare and everything. Now that's not a bad thing, it's good to look after your skin and everything. That's how I consoled myself. But the thing was that it started ruining my bank balance. So the entire month I used to work really hard and, when, and whenever I used to get my salary, post paying my rent and all my bills, I used to spend it and I was not able to save that much. And I realized that I'm not only wasting my money, but I'm also wasting these products and buying a lot of things and not even using them. And also the fact that I used to use it for like three to four pumps <laughs> and not use it post that. That also created like a lot of product wastage and honestly my skin did not even get used to the fact that I'm using a new product. This video is not about that don't buy things or anything but this is more about efficiency it's making the best use of money and how you can do it and how i do it now coming on to me how i have saved my money and i have started using all the products i have right now is that i have taken a small basket with me which has literally all the products that i need for that month the reason for having this basket is that i have kept all the products i need be it my hair care be it my skincare or body care anything and i just use the products in this basket for one month at times it is tempting to you know buy new products or take a couple of products from here but what has happened is that that i just reach out to these products because first of all it's kept right in front of my bed so the minute i wake up i just carry this basket and go to the bathroom and use whatever i need post bath pre bath etc it actually resulted in the fact that i've started using the products till the end see this feels like an achievement because i have not only used all the products till the end like i put water inside it shake it up and use it up but also it has given me the value of the money i have spent you know that this can be a little annoying that you just have to rely on a basket of things for every day and especially for people like me who you likes to use new products you know literally every week or something it gets annoying but this is exactly the fact you need to ask yourself what you need and what you want and Initially it gets tough, but the it's more like if you set a habit about it and you see the improvement in your bank balance and your skin You start respecting that hey, whatever I'm using whatever is happening for me right now It's happening for the bigger cause. It's happening for the bigger picture and Honestly, it works. This part of the video is strictly for those people who wants to see what's in the basket And it's going to be a quick rundown. Don't worry. It's not going to take a long time at all so for my shampoo, I use the head and shoulder shampoo. This one is the classic clean one. I don't like any other fragrance in this. I personally prefer the smell of this, so it works for me. The second thing is the hair mask that I use. This one is the Alvin Oil of Morocco. It's a very good mask, very budget full. And honestly, it lasts a good amount of time because it's almost like 160 grams of product. Now for wiping my face off, uh, if I'm wearing any makeup or something, then I use the Burt's Bees facial cleansing toilets or whatever it is so it's basically a facial towels these are 10 in number so i do need more than 10 i need two of these because i wear a little bit of makeup or mascara or lipstick on my weekdays not weekends i'm not wearing any makeup it's weekend so i do need two of these so i keep them in this basket or otherwise if i'm using any other brand for that month i keep the other one for my face wash, I use the Sephora AMA face wash. AMA is amino or amino acid. It works great, very budgetful again. It's a clear thing and it is naturally formulated. That's the best part about it. My body wash is one of the most highly recommended body washes I can 
tell you guys is the Care and Coconut Hydration by Nivea. Nivea is known for working out on sensitive skin and honestly it is amazing for my skin. It smells great. If you get it on Nykaa or any other store, please buy it. Most everything what I use for my face and even for my hands at times is this one. This is the Hello Hydration Face Cream by e.l.f. This is the only cream that I have used on my face for months since the day it was released. It works amazing, it is extremely in budget and no words. Last thing is that it does get a little bit hot so I use a rose water spray. This one is the Mario Badescu rose water but it has the Dabur rose water inside it because I personally prefer Dabur more than any other brands for rose water. That was it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I hope you like my videos and do subscribe to my channel.